Lawmakers are having conversations on how to repair the TANF program after controversy swept the program this year. This meant spent funds sparking plans of reform. This scandal is not just the illegal activity. This scandal is not just the stealing and the volleyball courts and the pro wrestlers. It's about the fact that the money is in the bank to help poor families in Mississippi and they're not getting it. Representative Robert Johnson says about $30 million went unspent this year. The state is rejecting 9 out of 10 people who apply for the TANF assistance according to the data provided. 92.8 percent of 2021 applicants denied. The goal of the assistance is to help get families back into the workplace. It's a temporary a program and it's supposed to help mothers and, and, and families put them back on their feet and put, give them back to work. But you can't do that at a rate of $270 a month. And we could better use our money by at least doubling that and allowing these people, these women, to find work and, keep, and assist them when they take jobs. The TANF program is the center of Mississippi's massive welfare scandal. Five people have pleaded guilty to federal and state charges of fraud, embezzlement, and theft, including the former head of the state's welfare agency. Former Governor Phil Bryant and NFL Hall of Famer Brett Favre are also named in a civil lawsuit. Reporting in Jackson, Grayson Gordon, 16 WAPT News.